Well, it is April the 15th, 2020, and AMA Air is coming to you live. It is happening right now. <laughs> Crazy. Coming up, on, uh, coming up on today's show, we're, we've got some uh, updates concerning the uh, COVID-19 situation and how it relates to uh, some summer events. And we have a bunch of special guests. I am so excited about this. It's going to be a great show, right, Matt? We've got guests on guests on guests. We've got Mandy Mikulski. We've got Joe Vermillion. We've got Kyle Jarris. All going to be joining us live on the show today, so stick around. Coming back to you in just a second. Welcome to AMA Air. Woo! Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome to another episode of AMA Air. My name is Matt Ruddick. And I'm Claire Aldenheisen. Claire, thank you so much for uh, joining me again here on AMA Air. I know we're all having a lot of fun doing this thing from home. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm excited. And I feel I feel really in the show now because we got to see that intro. Like, obviously, the viewers saw it. I don't know if they realized that we also got to watch it. So I'm over here. I'm like, yeah. There's the opening. I'm so excited. <laughs> now we, we all we're all doing this live. This is the first time we've ever had AMR live, uh, so we can see your guys's comments. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, uh, so feel free to leave comments and and ask questions. We've got a great show coming up for you today. Uh, mentioned we've got Joe Vermillion from Balsa USA is going to be here. So if you've got questions for him, leave them in the chat. Uh, we've got. Our director of development, Mandy Mikulski, is going to be here talking about some programs that are going on. She'll be here in just a little bit, as well as our education director, Kyle Jarris. Again, throw your questions in the chat. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Um, it's going to be a little different than what you're used to, but I think it's going to be really fun. I agree. And, you know, before we get started, humble brag a little bit. I don't want to, um, you know, brag too much, but I did get some fan mail after the last episode of AMA Air. Do you want to hear about it? I, I definitely want to hear about <laughs> it more this. Yeah. So um, one of our youth members who, if you follow I Fly AMA, you've probably seen a lot from her. Her name is Stella Woods. And I got um, an email from her saying that now that we're uh, broadcasting from home, I can wear my green sweater, which I have talked about before. Um, I can wear it anytime I want. And so in honor of Stella, I wore my green sweater today. So that's very for you, nice. Stella. <laughs> you're, you're you're looking very Christmassy today with the the red and green, and it's fitting because it's snowing in Muncie. So exactly, um, and if you could see the rest of my living room, you could see my Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, enough. Fair enough. I actually did put my trees back up because if I'm going to be stuck at home for the unforeseeable future, I want it to be festive. So. I'm rocking the trees. <laughs> hey, whatever, whatever makes the day go better, I'm I'm all for. So good on you. Um, well, look, we've got a, a jam-packed show today. You want to get right into it? Absolutely. Let's get started. Let's do it. So um, you know, the first story we're going to talk about uh, is something that came out late last week is the indoor free flight Nats for 2020 um, have officially been canceled, unfortunately, due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it's forced the cancellation of the indoor Nats. They were originally scheduled for uh, May 27th through the 31st out in Eager, Arizona. Uh, and, and unfortunately, there's, they don't anticipate that uh, they're going to reschedule that for 2020. Um, anyone that's already registered for that event uh, will be refunded 100%. So there's no need to be too worried about uh, that aspect of it. Uh, but unfortunately that event is canceled for this year. It's a really unfortunate situation. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to smile because you were talking about indoor gnats, but someone asked to see my Christmas trees. So this is going <laughs> to happen. So there's, there's the traditional one right there. Nice green, evergreen. There is the other one. Oh my. That's my, my retro tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, at, at least at least there's you've got some good lighting going on there for you anyway yeah i have um there it is my uh <laughs> nice 
my dorm light thing from Target. It's one of those lights that's like one tall light and one bendy light for reading. And I just took the um, the thing off. And <laughs> I just have the light bulbs exposed because I don't have real lighting here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, well, it, so let's jump back real quick yes. to this uh, indoor Nat story. So it's, uh, again, really an unfortunate situation. Yeah, um, and I'm disappointed. It, I, I am too. I think there's a lot of folks that are really disappointed that we're going to be coming out to that event. Um, again, as I said before, uh, if you've already registered for that event, uh, it will be all your uh all your registration fees will be refunded 100%. And that'll be happen automatically. You're not going to have to do anything uh, to make that happen. Um, the other side of this is with regard to outdoor gnats for 2020. As of right now, outdoor gnats are still on schedule, still planning to go forward. Um, however, we do have a date set to where we will know for sure whether or not they're going to happen or not. June 10th, is the go no go date mm -hmm. uh, for outdoor gnats for this summer. Uh, the best thing you guys can do is keep an eye on all of our communications channels, as well as over at modelaircraft.org slash gnats. We are keeping everything kind of posted there. Um, I do want to throw a special thank you out to the folks at the National Free Flight Society that helped put on that indoor gnats event every year. Uh, David Lindley is the president of the NFFS and all the folks that work with him. I think they those guys have been doing a terrific job and, uh, we really appreciate all their hard work. And he was on the podcast recently, right? He was. He was on the podcast um, uh, a couple of months ago, I believe it was. Really, really super guy. And um, if you guys haven't heard that interview, I definitely recommend you go check that out. He's incredibly passionate about free flight. He's It's cool. He's a cool guy. Absolutely. All right. So one thing that a lot of people have been asking us about lately is whether or not the uh, flying site assistance grants and the takeoff and grow grants were still um, in progress, That if they were still happening, and they are. So don't worry about that. You can actually still... Um, visit our website. Let's see. I have it. I have, <laughs> I printed out our outline because we don't have teleprompters. Um, <laughs> so uh, the site, site dash grant and uh, slash tag for the tag grant. And we're going to uh, let you know about the awards in early to mid May. So, you know, now is the perfect time to really think about how you would want to improve your club because, you know, we're, we have a lot of time on our hands to think about stuff. And so, you know, you could fix the fence. Oh, boy. Fix the fence. That's back. <laughs> never, never gonna it lose. never left, Matt. <laughs> and, it's, and it's even a lower third today. Great. <laughs> well, we're going to um, actually talk to Manny Mikulski in just a little bit. And uh, and she's going to, I think, give us some updates on those uh, those grants and how those are moving forward. So stick around for that, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So um, another great thing that we wanted to mention to you guys is that the May 2020 digital edition of Model Aviation is going to be available actually in a little bit less than an hour. And that's really awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. But what's even more exciting is that uh, we're releasing free PDFs of all of this year's model aviation from January to April for free. So if you have a family member who you know, you're spending a lot of time at home and they're like, so what, what's up with this model aviation stuff? You can send them free copies of the magazine and um, the winter and spring park pilot is available as well. So lots of reading material, get yourself caught up and, you know, send them to everybody, you know, get them into a new hobby. And then once, you know, we can all go back to the clubs, you can bring some new members out, which I think would be pretty cool. Absolutely. That's good. That's uh, absolutely true. And again, that's modelaircraft.org slash digital. Um, it's, it's such a cool idea to be able to put those out in PDF form and, and give it to anybody who's interested, maybe that, you know, they're not a member yet, so they're not getting the magazine. Um, you don't have to go take your magazine to them. That's not really something we want to do right now, uh, but you can say, hey, here's a link. Go download yeah. the PDF. Send them the link, share out. it. Yeah. Uh, so it's time for our first guest. Yay! I, I'm really excited about this part. We have never done this before, so this is really <laughs> exciting. Um, 
Uh, Claire, do you want to introduce our first guest? Absolutely. So our first guest today is Mandy Mikulski, the develop director of development here for the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Hi, Mandy. Hi, guys. Welcome. This is so fun. It is. I heard we're live. How yes, we are live. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Great. Right. So tell us a little bit about the um, Separate But Together campaign that's going on right now. Uh, well, we started the separate but together campaign just this week, and um, you know what? We already hit our goal, so um, I am so impressed with our membership. Um, we put out a request for some help for those who have been um, hit financially in some way due to COVID-19. Um, we've received lots of uh, requests for assistance from our members. And, um, you know, they just want to keep flying. They want to mm -hmm. be able to renew and fly safely. And so we were looking for ways that we could help. And the AMA Foundation, um, the board came together and they put up $3,750, which is enough for 50 memberships and then asked um, our membership to match that. Um, and thus far, they our membership has went above and beyond. We've almost raised $4,500 altogether between um, Facebook and then our website, modelaircraft.org slash together. Um, Mandy, am I right that that just launched, what, Monday? Yeah, just Monday. I that's can't, insane. like, that's... Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, with the success so far, um, we'd be able to give about 110 memberships. Wow. So um, please continue to share that campaign and um, encourage people to give so that we can, um, you know, or, or hopefully we can help everybody who needs it. Um, and then on the other side of things, if you know someone who might need some help right now, um, encourage them to apply. And we've also opened it up if you want to nominate someone. Um, all you really need to have is your AMA number, know um, when you're going to expire, um, because we are opening, up, opening it to people who are expiring in March. Um, you know, through the summer months. So um, I believe through June. So if you fall in that timeline, then you can apply or again, you can nominate someone. Um, so if you're a club president, you know, and you're looking through your roster, you want to help somebody out, it's, nominate them. It's a, it's a great way to give back. And then also just continue to give. We have this really cool t-shirt that you will receive if you give at least $25. Um, and the t-shirt has our super popular hashtag I fly AMA in the middle, um, and then separate, but together around, and it's this, it's green. How exciting, Claire. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so we, yeah, I personally, I'm just so impressed. I, you know, I, when we came up with the idea, I knew that it would do well because I know our members are just, you know, gracious um, people. But to hit the goal, like almost in one day is fantastic. So, um, yeah, continue to give. Um, all the money goes back to members. So, um, you know, I a lot of times talk to everyone about all of our programs that we have and the foundation supports. And this is a special campaign just for this special time so uh, there yeah there's is. Shirt. <laughs> so yeah it's that's it's such terrible. a rad shirt i love it yeah and you know a, lo a lot of the staff have um given the 25 dollars or more so that they can get a shirt so i'm pretty excited after the campaign finishes and all the shirts are out um you know we're asking people to take a picture and post it on social media so that we can um, share all the people who have supported it, including our staff, our board. Um, everybody's jumping on. So thank you for that. Now, Mandy, uh, the, you mentioned earlier, uh, we were talking before the show started, that there's some uh, news about some stuff that's coming up this coming weekend. Is that right? Um, well, the weekend after with grants, um, we, so, the flying site improvement grants, the tag grants, um, 
and we have a couple we have a disaster relief grant and we also have a club recognition and reward grant those are all the grants that ama gives out to clubs um, the ama foundation supports these grants um, by raising money uh, for those specific funds um, so last year we actually hired someone who manages all those programs and then she also writes grants for um, external projects and she's doing a fantastic job she took the flying site improvement grant first under her wing and um, put it together in a, a, a way where we could help members share their stories in a you know a better way we um, are able to do a better job of scoring the grants all of that so um, it really paid off we had the largest number we have ever received um, in grant requests for the flying site improvement grants so um, i i don't have the number yes i do 74 applications and that's about double from what we've had in the past so um great job clubs for applying um so what happens is you um will apply for those online and then we have committees for each different grant and our scholarships and they review everything and then um make selections and then the executive council then will look at everything and review it. So we have lots of eyes on everything. Um, and then soon after the announcements will be made. So just wanting everyone to know that rest assured, everything's on track. So if you applied, nothing has changed. You'll know in the same amount of time. Um, so yeah, great job to the clubs for applying. And um, AMA is really, concentrating on reaching out to our clubs more and encouraging our clubs to get more involved in their communities and um, I think everyone's doing a great job and the number of applications we receive this year shows that. Well, awesome. fantastic. Yeah, that's all such great news. I mean, with everything kind of slowing down because of, of the situation we're all in, I think hearing that that stuff is still moving forward, I think is probably some great news for folks to hear for sure. Yeah. Well, Mandy, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, our first official live guest on AMA Air Live. Congratulations. Yay, <laughs> That's exciting. Um, and uh, we look forward to all the cool stuff coming down the pike. Yeah, okay. thank you so much, Mandy. All right. Great job, guys. Thanks for having me. Bye. See you later. <laughs> um, we want to thank all you guys for leaving comments and stuff as well. Yeah. As we go through this, if you have questions for our guests that come in, uh, feel free to throw them in the in the chat, uh, either on Facebook or on YouTube, either either one. Um, but it's time to get to our next guest. Claire, are you ready for our next guest? I am so ready. I was born ready. <laughs> this this is a guy. If you've been uh, involved in the iFly AMA Facebook group, you are sure to have seen this gentleman. Uh, Mr. Uh, Joe Vermillion from Balsa USA. Joe, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Hey, thanks for having me on, guys. It's good to see you. Hi, me, Joe. You well. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe, uh, we wanted to bring you on the show today because you did something pretty interesting a couple of weeks ago uh, because, unfortunately, we all know Toledo, the Toledo show got canceled for this year. Um, you kind of took some initiative and, and created something a little special for everybody. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, basically all we did was I wanted to make sure that people were able to experience a little bit of the Toledo experience without actually being at Toledo. So I had on a bunch of vendors. I had on some uh, interviews. We did Matt Chapman. Uh, we had some full-scale pilots. We had some people coming on just to share. Uh, we had Greg Hahn. We had Mike Barbie. Uh, Mike from Robart, and we just kind of did a little video series so that people could go on during the Toledo show hours and experience a little bit what we were all missing by not being able to be there. Because as you guys know that have been able to be at T Toledo, it's more than just a, a model airplane expo. It's a place where we all go to, for here for, for, this, for those of us here in the Midwest where we have like the 10 month winters, that's kind of the official start of our season. And it lets us get out there and talk to people and start the, getting the relationships built up and uh, just hang out with our friends and have a good time. So I, I know you, you you do all of the social media work for Balsa USA right now. And yes, man, just an incredible job you're doing. 
Uh, and we've talked, we've talked about that before. I, you were a guest on my podcast a, a, a couple of months ago and we talked about that as well. And I, I just, I got to throw that back at you again, that you're doing an, an incredibly good job with all that. Um, what I want to ask you though, is, you know, we're all kind of, uh, everybody's kind of learning right now about how to do these live video chats and, and produce these live broadcasts over the internet. And that's something that you were one of the first ones to do, I think, at least in the RC world. Um, tell me a little bit about that process, of, you know, learning how to get these live broadcasts out to people. Right. Well, for me, it was just a matter of, I'm a research guy, uh, and I did a lots of research and I went out and I went on forums and places where I wouldn't normally go to see what other folks were doing and how their stuff was working. And then quite frankly, I just reached out and said, Hey, how are you guys doing this? What are you doing? How are you making it work? And then just put it together from there. That's basically all I did. I kind of had the studio set up already in my shop down here so that I had kind of uh, set up a little bit that I, the way I wanted it. So then I just adapted it and took one of my building benches. This is literally, there's an airplane sitting directly right here. <laughs> and just kind of put it together. And, and I'm totally not kidding. There's an airplane sitting right here. <laughs> Amazing. Well, wait, you, you can't, you can't tease us like that. So what, what's the airplane? What is That's it? actually what we're working on for the boss USA shop time live uh, build video. This is the huh. one six scale Newport 17 uh, build along video that we're doing. Very cool. And people can, and can join in and, and watch those live streams. How? Uh, they can catch them on our Facebook. They can catch them on our YouTube channel. Uh, they're going to be archived on our YouTube channel, so you can get to all those videos. If you can't follow along, you can go on there and catch up with the build. If you decide that you want to grab a 1-6 scale Newport on your own, we're running a coupon code that's uh, N17 build, all uppercase, no spaces, and you get 10% off your kit if you want to join in. No Very purchase cool. necessary, though. You can watch the build videos and get the knowledge without buying anything. Very cool. Well, uh, Joe, again, I got to thank you so much for everything you're putting on. I mean, for folks, this is maybe a little inside baseball, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, <laughs> the platform that we're actually using to stream to stream this show together and, and put it all together, this was an idea that came from Joe. Uh, he's the one that found this stuff and was like, hey, guys, you should use this. So now we're <laughs> using it. It's working great. So, Joe, thank you for everything you're doing. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Um, <laughs> absolutely. You're truly an asset to the hobby, and, and I think uh, I speak for everybody when I say that. Well, I greatly appreciate it. And I noticed the comments in the chat. I really appreciate all your guys' comments. It's because of you guys we're able to do what we do, and we always appreciate the support from not only everybody in the hobby, but also from what you get from the AMA as well. Well, Joe, thank you so much uh, for coming on AMA Air Live. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, and Absolutely. I know you got a lot of stuff to get back to work on. So. We'll let you get back to it. All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> All right. So our last special guest of this episode, this special live episode of AMA Air is coming up. His name is Kyle Jarris. If you have, well, if you follow us just about on anywhere on social media, on Facebook, you probably have seen his live streams lately. Kyle's been doing a ton of really cool stuff with his sons. He's been going out flying, shooting rockets, all kinds of good stuff. And a lot of it's actually been inspired by the quick projects that we have been um, sharing online at, let's see, amaflightschool.org slash quick projects. And so... Um, I think it's time for Kyle to tell us a little bit more about his experiences being my guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good to see you guys. Thanks for having me on. Um, you know, it's been a lot of fun um, as we've kind of adjusted to the new norm that, that we're all experiencing right now. And, um, you know, kind of sat down and, and brainstormed different ideas of how to remain a part of people's lives. This is a hobby that really brings us together. And right now we're, we're forced to be separate, right? So, you know, it really kind of came up in these conversations, like this is a great way to reach out, to share what our hobby is, what we can do together while we're staying separated, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we've been trying to do things even 
um, for instance, virtual fly-ins. We, we've tried that a few times, jumped into like liftoff, uh, real flight, uh, velocity and those sorts of things, trying to, you know, come together as a community. It's been a lot of fun. Um, obviously doing some lives. This is the first live here. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Um, and, and really, it just ends up being a, a great chance for people to come together, um, to bounce ideas, you know, kind of give some ribbing on occasion uh, and uh, have fun. So you guys are uh, twinsies today. Yeah, I noticed that. You know, I, I was like, it's probably time for me to change, but uh, it's good. <laughs> Matt's making me look good. See? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. And then, you know, honestly, um, this is in some ways, if, if you look at the, the good side, right, like the, the positive, um, the quick projects were things that we've had um, set up for educators for quite some time. I mean, Claire, you helped to write a lot of those um, initially. It was part of the museum in a box. Yes. And, um, you know, when all this happened, we thought, you know, I've got two kids at home. You guys mentioned that, a 10-year-old and a 7-year-old. Um, and so watching them go through their classwork uh, while they're, you know, working from home. And um, honestly, you know, getting on occasion to our wits end um, on what to do with them. I, I was thinking, you know, what better way than to, to give something that's educational to them um, but also is easy to do. So that's where those quick projects really came out. And um, it's a, a benefit for everybody. It's not just a member benefit. Anyone could go onto that website, a teacher, a parent, even a kid, and find stuff. Um, if you're resourceful and can scrounge around the house a little bit, chances are really good that you can actually uh, jump in there and, and have some successful um, and sometimes challenging fun. Yeah, I just want to throw it out there that um, here in Indiana, fourth grade is when kids initially learn about flight. And so a lot of those projects that we made available were originated for fourth grade classrooms. So if you have a kid at home in the fourth grade or about to go into the fourth grade next year, get them started. Get them to be an expert in the four forces of flight using these projects. And we have some really cool vintage stuff, too. I'm excited about the General Mills cereal planes. I think those are just so cool I, w I wish i could meet the guy or guys or gals or whomever it was that, that came up with these things and laid them out like they're so like simple but they work really well too and, and there's you see some um <laughs> some footage of, of the light like <laughs> yeah, there I am. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's a quick video. I chose the uh, P-47 because the Razorback is one of my favorite planes. Um, so we knocked that out real quick. Uh, kind of did the Julia Child approach. So I showed you how to cut one thing and then I jumped to have it all cut and that sort of thing. Um, and it, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, but if you've got a printer at home or can you know send something to to a printer you know somewhere and, and get it shipped to you or mailed um you know try them out they're fun yeah i think they're just a lot of fun i think they're really cool so i have to know since i have you live i have an audience oh. <laughs> which one <laughs> of the quick projects has been your favorite oh you know what pressure's on yeah pressure's on <laughs> i I haven't done them all with the kids yet. Um, this morning. Hey, there's um, me. Yeah, there's Claire. There's me uh, again. <laughs> and Matt. See, Matt got to do some of them too. I should ask you guys the same question, but but I'll answer. <laughs> I'll answer. You know, the first, the thing that I've had the most fun with um, that is one of the quick projects is probably that Razorback. Putting those paper planes together is a lot of fun. And it's, you know, it's just kind of fun to take a flat piece of eight and a half by 11 paper and turn it into something that you can actually, you know, toss around the house and fly with. Um, I think, and, and by the way, at the end of that uh, live stream, I tried out like a little carbon fiber rod that I had laying around to see if I could add some rigidity to the wings. It worked awesome. So if you've got something like that, a bamboo skewer, you know, even like a popsicle stick that you can use, like it'll make them fly a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that's probably been a lot of fun. This morning, I, I knocked out a quick uh, video here in my uh, home office. Um, for the paper helicopters. That was a lot of fun to kind of throw together. So that'll, I think it's going live soon, which brings up a good point. Like we're trying to add new things, at least one every week. Um, so if you jump on there and you love the quick projects, got done with all of them, we'll wait till next week because there'll be more. So, you know, it's our intention to keep that content coming, uh, to share resources and ideas, um, especially on our hashtag IFLYAMA Facebook page. You know, we've been posting a lot of stuff there to keep people entertained. Um, and we're also, you know, setting up some live feeds 
um, that are a little bit more member focused uh, and maybe even a little bit more leader member focused, uh, talking about rules changes and talking about um, different things that um, maybe maybe a little bit deeper dive uh, for some of the members. So that should be really cool too to see as we go through our forward on those things. Yeah, and we're actually going to be doing one this Friday uh, with you, uh, myself, you, and uh, Jay Smith, our editor, executive editor of Model Aviation, about yep. uh, simulators. Going to giving a, a high level overview of some of the different simulators that are out there because uh, I think we're all getting a lot of simulator time. Right now, so, um, Especially us, where it's snowing in April. Yeah, <laughs> right. looking at my window and like more and more snow is coming down outside, and I'm just uh, oh, time to pull out the tiny whoops again. <laughs> okay, well uh kyle is, is there anything else you want to plug while you're here on the show you know i'm looking at my notes here and i think we've pretty much covered everything um if anybody's interested we're going to go over with tony stillman tomorrow at two o'clock um i believe it's tomorrow yeah thursday I, my days are getting mixed up <laughs> um, we're going to go over you know how rules changes occur and uh with competition in mind you know we had that unfortunate news with the indoor nats um, it's a tough time for, for those kinds of competitions. Really looking forward, though, you know, as of right now, the uh, outdoor nats are still on, you know, hoping that that moves forward. Um, still working forward toward having a really successful Camp AMA. Um, you know, that's still on the books. It's still moving forward at this point. As always, though, we're, we're keeping an eye on things. We're, we're taking in information. Um, so stand by and, and, you know, stay posted for any news as it, as it occurs. Awesome. Well, awesome. Kyle, thank you so much for coming on the show and talking about some of the initiatives you're putting in. You're putting in a lot of work and putting out a lot of great content. So uh, we can't thank you enough for all that stuff. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Good to see you. Thanks, Kyle. Bye-bye. Um, so uh, we, uh, we did see a question in the, in the comments about camp AMA, um, Kyle mentioned it briefly. That's still on track yep. as of right now, but keep an eye out because things are changing daily. Uh, it's still probably still a little early, Claire, I would imagine to yeah. have a decision on that. Yeah, we're still, you know, right now it is on track, but it's really too early to tell right yeah. now. And, and Hey, I want to give a quick shout out to, uh, Dane watching us from Romania. What? Thank you, Dane. Thanks, Dane. Um, that's awesome. That's uh, that's super rad. I'm I'm I'm, I'm impressed. I can't. I don't know what time it, it's got to be. Like, is it in late the night in Romania? There. <laughs> I would think. I don't. I don't know my time zones that well, but. Well, um, thanks. Thanks for tuning well, in. Thanks for watching. I yeah. think you must be our our um, most distant viewer today. I mean, that's awesome. Got to got to be close. I would imagine. Um. It is nine thirty p.m. I'm being told. Oh, in my okay, ear. right before bed. Catch. Some I wouldn't AMA have guessed air. that. I would have. I would have guessed it was later. But okay. Yeah, me too. Um, well, so I just want to say this has been a blast. Um, I, I hope love you guys it. are having as much fun as we are. Um, so I'm checking out and making sure I didn't miss anything. We do want to uh, give you guys a quick heads up on something near and dear to my heart, which is the <laughs> podcast. Um, is it <laughs> really it is so this pat if you guys have not yet had a chance to listen to this most recent episode of the ama podcast which you can do so at podcast.modelaircraft.org uh we just did a uh did an there interview with aaron dobbs who is uh kind of running our member benefits program right now and she went through and kind of detailed all of the different member benefits that you get when you become a member of the AMA and it's so much cool information um, and a lot of new stuff too that's just been announced uh, specifically one we're gonna I want to mention real quick which is uh, the careers board that we now have it's careers.modelaircraft.org um, which is it's a jobs board which you know right now there's a lot of folks that are probably having some if issues difficulties whatnot with with employment um, this is a really cool way to go check out some different aviation related uh, jobs that are out there. There's going to be more added constantly. So keep checking back there. But uh, I, I encourage you to go listen to the podcast because the uh, podcast is going to have all the different information or all the deep details and information about that new initiative. Uh, yeah, I think I gave the wrong address a second ago, so I apologize. Uh, but yeah, the careers board is at careers.modelaircraft.org. Yeah, it looks like that's the URL for it. 
Yeah, and... it's really cool because you know you're you're able to take something that you love and have a career out of it, which I think is an awesome opportunity. I mean, basically, what what's that old saying? You know, if you love your job, you don't work a day in your life. It's kind of like it's kind of like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you. I feel like that we're kind of living that right now. We're living the dream. Pretty I mean, much. I kind of, I kind of dig what I do. I don't know about you. Um, but uh, again, if you want to hear that podcast with Aaron Dobbs, it's at uh, modelaircraft.org slash podcast. That's the URL. I think I got wrong a second ago. How do I get that wrong? Your own podcast. <laughs> I almost got through this whole live show without making a, a mess up. And that's, that's what I, I let up. you do the URLs. <laughs> Uh, if you Sorry, haven't subscribed Matt. to that, go subscribe. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that's I think that's all we have. Claire, do you have anything else? No, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I had so much fun today. I love this. I you know I think that you know the situation that we're in is something that's completely unpredictable, unexpected. But we're able to come up with so many interesting new ideas and ways to work around it and the fact that we got to go live today and it's going so well and i i loved it i thought it was so much fun and it was really cool to see all the comments and you know have that live interaction with our viewers it's a little bit like ask claire which is on hiatus uh, I, I, but, <laughs> but i do have to i do have to agree with you being able to see the comments from all the folks watching right now um that's been a blast to see yeah. to have, I have this feedback coming in and i want to thank all of you guys i'm pointing over here and looking over here because i can see yeah, the comments there. It's, um, it's there <laughs> yeah it, well, still, it's, yeah. it's like I'm pointing to it. Oh, it doesn't. It's okay. <laughs> I want to thank all of you guys for, for watching today. Um, I've had an absolute blast. I hope you guys have had a blast as well. Uh, I want to thank Joe Vermillion. I want to thank Mandy Mikulski, uh, Kyle Jarris. Thank you guys for coming on the show today. Um, it's, it's time to wrap this up. Uh, what do you say, Claire? Well, I think it is time to wrap it up. And as always, if you're not already a member of the AMA, what are you waiting for? You can join at modelaircraft.org slash join. And you can always like, share, and subscribe and comment. I mean, you guys are already doing the commenting part, so that was awesome. Um, but like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It ding. <laughs> Absolutely. And for everybody here at the AMA, we want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with us today. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you guys later.